Hey yo, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ubi. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Wyatt Halliwell in a game called Charm Reborn. So Charm Reborn just did Charm Reborn did just come out with a revamp, and I'm going to be showcasing Wyatt. So Wyatt spawns in as a baby in his baby form, but Piper does have a special form or special spell that turns him into an adult. So I'm going to be doing the showcase in his baby form as nothing changes and I'm going to be showcasing his adult form at the end. So first we're going to start off with his abilities. So first he is half white lighter, half witch, which means he does have some orbing um, moves like he can teleport and stuff. So uh, if you can click locations, as you can see, we have the characters that we can teleport to, which is the charmed ones and like basically any good person, like any person with a good role. Um, and we also have these basic locations where we can teleport to like Wyatt's room, which is in the manor, front porch, Billy's dorm, Teresa's store, Chinatown, which shop, etc. Like, you know, it's just like the basic locations that everyone basically has. Um, so yeah, we're going to be showcasing the orbing. So if we click R on somewhere, as you can see, this is the orbing effect. It's very cute. Um, and if we click locations, we can go to like Wyatt's house and we're in his or Wyatt's room and then we're in his room. He has a special bed where he can sleep to gain energy. Um, and yeah, so that's orbing. So next is telekinetic orbing, which we do need an object for that. So as you can see, we have a object right here. So if I click E on it, as you can see, I lift it up into the air. And then when I click, the, um, the object will spawn back in and it will fling towards the wherever I put it. So if I click E on the box, as you can see, it lifts up and disappears. And then if someone's standing still and I click on it, as you can see, the blocks box will fling to them and they will get hit. So next is healing. So as you can see, I'm basically getting Kyle low. Oh. Come back, come back. So now if I click T, as you can see, I will basically sort of touch, like I have to have physical contact with them and I will heal them with my power. So their health will go back up to full health. Um, the longer it takes, the more health they lost. So it will keep doing this until you get back to full health. Healing as a white lighter. Also, if you get shot by a gun, you do start to bleed and take bleeding damage. So you can heal then. Also, if you die from like anything except incineration or like something like that, a white lighter can heal the witch back to life after a few seconds after their, their death. So you can use that for that too. Um, and yeah, next is orb shield, which is X. So you're going to want to hold X. And as you can see, you summon a big shield or like a small orb shield um when why it gets to his adult age it gets larger and as you can see everything in my path gets flung away also people but since the charm witches have a good um role like they're a good witch um it won't fling them so it only flings people with the bad stat next is energy wave which is z so when i click z as you can see i summon a wave of like orange energy and it pushes everyone back dealing tons of damage when someone is low it will incinerate them Okay, so now that we're back, so if I, oh, ah! so now as you can see, they're both Banshees because the Banshees scream turns them to Banshees. So now if I click Z and I send it towards them, they will both be incinerated as they are both Banshees. So lower level demons instantly get incinerated when the energy wave is sent towards them. Um, and they do get sent back to the lobby, which is great. So next is to oh, <laughs> bye. Why yeah? Next is telekinetic choke, which basically chokes the target telekinetically. So if I click C, as you can see, this whole animation will happen and they get on the ground, you know, they're choking. Um, and it does do damage and you can be pushed out of it by someone else or someone else can stun the target, which pushes them out of it. Anyway, next is telekinetic deviation which is probably my favorite um so when you click f as you can see you send someone far back like it's like a telekinetic push this also works on objects so if the door is closed i can click f one sec i can click uh f. oh my god i'm so okay and then i can click f and open the door like that um who put a lock on the door um i can also fling objects like this me also when someone is carrying you as baby wyatt you can fling them off oh <laughs> why did the door fall on matt next is incineration which is b so 
when I click B on a target, as you can see, they have to be a lower level witch or they just have to be like a lower level demon. If they are a normal witch, they do have to be very low. And when I click B, you instantly incinerate them and turn them into Ash. With Ash, you can do like some special spells or something like that. I don't really know what you can do. Next is Hovering, which is H, which basically heals you. What? Next is hovering, which basically heals you and makes you invincible for a few seconds. So when I hold H down, as you can see, I levitate into some meditating form and then I will heal um, all my energy and I also do gain energy from this. Um, so you can hold it for as long as you like. I think it doesn't stop. Um, hovering also gives you energy so I can um, hold it like this if I want to. Oh, don't try me, bitch. I'm powerful. Don't try. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah! Next is summoning, which is very self explanatory. When you click Y, you will have a bar of people. And if I click page, as you can see, I can summon page right in front of me. Next is transformation, which turns someone into a random object. So if I click V on Kyle, as you can see, he will turn into a box. So they do take damage, but you cannot do damage to this box. Like you can fling it around and do whatever you want to, but you do not do damage to the box. And last is G, as you can see. And last, uh, Boulder! And last is G, which is combustive orbing. So when I click G, as you can see, I orb, um, I orb sky and then i push him away in orbing but i also do combust him so this is like a cute little move from piper which is his mother who has like these combustive powers so it's like a little mix of the two so if i click g i as you can see i orb him and then i push him away so this is the spell help this mother understand the thoughts inside her little man through his mouth to quiet let us reach inner wyatt and this turns wyatt into a um adult form I do like his baby form way more, but once he is an adult, you cannot turn him back. And as you can see, my orb shield gets bigger. Um, whoa. Oh, is this the source? What happened to my arm? So Paige is my charger and Piper is my other charger. So basically what happens is you request this person to be your white lighter and then someone can call upon you by saying Wyatt and then you can like that by saying their name in chat it has to get this little notification on your screen saying um this person needs your help or so that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to go leave a like and subscribe hit the notification button to be notified for all my videos i'm gonna post and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye everybody